We're in Davao City, got a durian shirt on, and uh, we're heading up the mountain. It's called the Eden Climb, it's about 10.7k. It's almost identical to Doi's and Tap, just a lot, lot steeper to do this thing. Davao Mix PJs. See, so look at that. Those kids, I don't know how old they are, but where would, you wouldn't see that in Australia. You wouldn't see that in Australia or the US, would you? You know? That's how safe the Val City is. Safer than the US, safer than uh, anywhere in Australia. And this is 6 a.m. on a Friday morning, meeting the guys hitting on the mountain. But uh, there you go. My only issue with the Val City, too many cars. But that's any city, isn't it? Every city's got too many cars in it. But the drivers here are very friendly, very vocal on the horns, like beep, beep, beep. And after, after a few days you get used to it, it's just them saying, hey, I'm coming past. It's not like in Australia. When we in Australia, we use the horn, it's like, fuck you, cunt. In Davao, it's like, hey, coming through, you know, hey, have a good day, sort of thing. Australia, different vibe, US, different vibe. But hey, do what you can do. But Davao City, thumbs up. Whew, that was a solid climb. I'm not sure if you can just see it. Fucking, we're up. We're pretty high above the cloud line here in the Philippines. This is Davao, this is a. I think the strava's sink down below. I should've bought my road shoes. Oh, not my road shoes, I should've bought my cycling shoes. I just got my running shoes on on the, on the reed. Should've bought the trek over. Big mistake. Should've bought it over, should've bought my cycling shoes and given the segment a really good crack. But uh, yeah, no, it's good fun, very good fun. We're in Davao City and uh, trying to get devoured. It's pretty cool here. The traffic's really friendly, it's really chaotic, it's really busy, it's everywhere. People on the street, chickens on the street, dogs on the street, cars, bikes, doing riders on the street. And it's very, very rad. And you just gotta always be paying attention. Whoop. Always gotta be paying attention. Otherwise, that's the secret of cycling, always be paying attention. We're gonna to go to a, I think it's called Vegan Food House. Come and join me. Let's go carve the fuck up, Filipina style in Davao City. Let's do it. So 
So my vegan food house had just closed and they had takeaway burgers, that's all they had options. So I've got these, got no plastic bag, no paper bag, just got a little wrap in there. And uh, this is a little vegan food house. Go to happycow.com and you'll see where that's at. So look at these bad boys, it was pretty good. Cycling's very safe, it's very noisy in the Philippines, but very safe. Uh, I've been a bike messenger for years and travel around the world. They use the horn a lot here. We ride for those who can't ride. Simple as that. Uh, they use a horn like here as more of a friendly thing, like, hey, I'm just, you know, I'm coming through. It's not like in Australia, we use a horn, it's like, yeah, the way, mate. But uh, here we go. All right, I've got some tasty burgers, Filipino style. So this is the 7-Eleven. It's just near the Stone Depot, Mackenzie. This is called the Vegan Hygienic Food House. They just closed. The burgers were great. The staff were very friendly. And it's definitely a place you should come and check out if you are in Davao City. That's how you find it. It's on the corner of Eco Land. Just go to the Happy Cow anyway, and uh, you'll see where it's at. Beautiful spot. They also make bread here. They gave me some bread. Walking around the streets at night time to Val City, got the iPhone in my hand, next to the traffic, no worries at all, feel safe, had no, no dodgy vibes at all, and I understand what dodgy vibes feel like, tra being a world traveller since 2003, uh, but no, Davao City, thumbs up, safety, for sure. Just walk into a shop here all by myself, there's like handbags, phones, there's no one in here. Clean this shop out back in the day in the 90s, we'd clean it out. No one's here, just a customer of me. <laughs>